How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. One day we're going to finish this game. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get back into it. So we've got the sickle, we've got the nut, and we got the galleon, I believe. Now we need to go into these stores and pick up a few things. We apologize to our customers for temporary closure. We are trying to locate our disappearing ink. Well, that's not going to help us out. Looks like everything's closed. Oh, here's one. Excellent. You have three sickle coins. That entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat, and then guide it to the eagle owl using the directional buttons and the cross button to keep it off the floor. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, let's see. Wingardium Leviosa. There we go. Wingardium Leviosa! Nope. Gotta make sure not to... Make sure no one else gets it. Wingardium Leviosa! Getting pretty good at this. Two for two. There we go. Now let's get this back. Wingardium Leviosa. I don't think we have to be quite as worried about this getting taken. Perfect. You've got your feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio. Ah, that's awesome. You knew my owl's name. Okay, we gotta go to two more places now. Due to some faulty cold. Man, everyone's closed today. That one's closed. So we went in the Owl Emporium. That one's closed. Ollivander's. <laughs> Mr. Ollivander. Ah, I see you have three nut coins. Feel free to collect your peacock feathers. My peacock lives in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Good to know. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten. Okay, so we can go in and just snoop around now, too. Cool. Oops, I didn't mean Dear to use me. that. And I thought you were... Now this time, try to... Okay, we're going to try again. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the peacock. What's in these boxes? I thought I snuck up on him. Oh man, I gotta fill up the bar with him, I see. Oh, invisibility cloak. That's one way to do it. Oh, 
Oh, uh, was that the only one? This is tough. I may have to do this one again. Okay, let's see if we can get behind him. Yikes, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. Ah, uh, this is tough. Come back, you peacock! Oh, we got it, we got it! I got one, how many do I need, three? I think I need three, is what he said. I'm afraid you weren't fast enough. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. We know that there's an invisibility cloak over here. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, not in there. Got him. Come on. This is tough. Oh my gosh. So you just gotta chase him down in hopes that you can stay on him long enough. He know where I'm at. There's got to be a way to do this that's not the way I'm doing it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, almost got it that time. So we know where he's going. He's gonna go hang out right over there. And we're gonna get behind him and run up on him and try to stay with him. Ugh. This one's tough. Yeah, we're gonna have to restart this one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with a spell. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay, let's get this restarted. Dear me. And I thought you were... Now this time, try... So we need the invisibility cloak. Whoops. There it is. So now we need to find that bird. There he is. I don't understand this. This is so hard. All right, I may have to cut ahead to where I finish this. There's one. So we know he's going to run in the opposite direction. There's two. There we go, three. You collected three of his feathers, eh? Oh my gosh. I suspected you would do well. <laughs> I did not do well. That took way too long, Mr. Ollivander. Okay, we've got one more place we need to go. Okay, we, we Cauldrons is blocked. This one is blocked. Did these two. Oh, this is it. The magical menagerie. Welcome, 
Welcome to the magical menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. There is a rat you playing jump rope. For the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad. Once you've found him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. Okay, so I've got to find him and then hit him with a knockback jinx. Your ill-timed jinxes will destroy my shop. Start again huh? and be more careful. She told me to do that, did she not? Your ill-timed jinxes. Okay, I don't understand. He may be upstairs. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. There he is. Okay. I understand now. I can't hit every box. I can only hit... <laughs> the ones that he's in, apparently. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So he's not downstairs. There he is. Okay. Whoops. There he is. Got him. I see you've collected your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye. <laughs> That's very random. I can't get over how hard that peacock one was. That one was so, so hard. I think we're good, though. Yeah, there's Hagrid. We're ready to go back. Well done, Harry. Let's get back to Hogwarts so we can cure poor Norbert. Home again at last. Now we'll give the dragon tonic to Norbert. We've done it, Harry. Norbert is well again. Thank goodness I was so worried. I'm glad he's better, but sad in a way. He's old enough to leave the nest and fend for himself now. He'll want to go off on his own now, the wee soul, but I want to <laughs> keep him here so I can look after him. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. That night, Harry carried Norbert up to the tallest tower. Ron's brother, Charlie, had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Once Norbert had been freed, however, Malfoy sprang his trap. Harry was caught by Professor McGonagall. For his detention, Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. Let's split up and search for the unicorn, Harry. The best way to find wounded unicorns is to follow a trail of silver blood. Ooh. It should show up well in this moonlight. Follow the silver blood to find the unicorn. Be careful. The forest can be a dangerous place. I better go, Harry. That spoiled brat Draco is waiting with Fang. If I'm not back soon, Fang might just have him for his dinner. All right, so we're going to try to find the unicorn blood. A little spooky. There we go. There it is. There's some. Incendio! Oops. Oops. There's some more unicorn blood. Probably need a knockback jinx to get this free. Flipendo. No? Hmm. 
How can we get this down? We need this tree to go down so we can cross. Flipendo. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can't jump down in there. Let's go back here. Just to see. Am I overlooking anything? No. All right, I'm gonna try to go down here. I may get knocked down and have to restart, but we'll see. Yeah. We're okay. Man, I know I've got to knock this down, but I don't know how. Flipendo. 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 How are we supposed to knock this down? Maybe... Maybe I'm missing something? Maybe not. Man, this game's getting a little bit more confusing the, the farther along we get. I'm having a hard time following what to do next. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I just looked this up and this is definitely how you do it. Oh, maybe I couldn't aim. Maybe that's what it was. It's a very weird mechanic. It's okay. We'll keep pressing forward here. Hey, a bean. I don't know if I have to necessarily go do anything with them, but it's okay. Well, let's see if I can just go on and skip them. We may, may be able to. Yeah, we can. Incendio! Perfect. Uh oh. Incendio. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty tough. Oh, I didn't collect those beans. That's okay. Oh, I know I need him to blast through this if I remember right. Ah! can't quite remember. There we go. So you have to knock him down in order to move forward here. It's Malfoy. Ah, Potter. That oaf Hagrid sent me to tell you that we haven't found the unicorn yet. I doubt Hagrid could find the boots on his feet without a map. Don't get lost, Potter. Remember, these woods can be very dangerous. Ooh, a save point. That's usually not a good sign. Incendio! <clears throat> Perfect. Oh, we get to heal up. That's good. There we go. 
easy. There's Hagrid. Oi, Hagrid. I see you found the unicorn's blood trail, Harry. I don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. Never heard anything like it before. There's summit in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me if you find anything. Oh, the music just got super ominous too. <laughs> Shabby. I don't know how to get up there, though. Oh, wow. Harry's got jumps. Oh, spooky. Must be Voldemort. Oh, it's hurting my scar. Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze and rode on his back to safety. Firenze explained the unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive who was an inch from death. Harry realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named. Lord Voldemort. Oh, that was a close shave, Harry. Any creature that would kill a unicorn and drink its blood is one to be avoided at all costs. If it was Lord Vold, I mean, he who must not be named, and you better be on your guard. He's a dangerous foe. Oh my gosh. I've got a present for you, Harry. I made it myself. Uh, we got a present. That's oh, a little flute. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. There we go. Oops, <laughs> I got to typing it too fast. Nice. Like a light. I wish Fluffy was as easy to send to sleep. But you'd best be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a I can't believe that he just tells me that information willingly. I've been doing some reading about Nicholas Flamel, the wizard that Hagrid mentioned. He's the creator of the Sorcerer's Stone. Supposedly, it can grant eternal life to its user. If it's here, there may be Snape's after it. There are even rumors that you know who's involved. We have to find a way to get past Fluffy. That must be where the stone is being kept. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor by the doorway that leads to Fluffy. We have to get the stone first. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose. <laughs> All right. So we got to go to the third floor corridor. We've been spending a lot of time out in the, the Hogwarts grounds this game. That's for sure. But I'm going to get up here to a save point, and then we will continue on in the next one. I think we're getting close to the end of the game. Yep, I'm going to save here, guys, and we'll continue on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Cotrello Games.